mosquitoes. I'm Rebecca of Pocket Full of Posies. Today's project is my Edwardian combinations. I used a truly Victorian pattern for this and I'm so excited to share this with you. Now, while I was in the process of making these combinations, I also took a little trip to visit my sister. So I did a little car sewing and then I got to try out her vintage Singer sewing machine and that was really exciting. She hadn't used it yet because she wasn't exactly sure how to <laughs> oil it and thread it and all of that stuff. So we figured that all out together. I'm really excited to share these combinations with you. So without further ado, let's get to it. Here we go. I got my pattern cut out and I'm using Truly Victorian TV E02, the Edwardian underwear. I first picked lace for the ruffle on top of the combinations. I sewed it on at work one day when I had some students on vacation. Then I went on vacation, and while I was in the car, I sewed the center front facings, which will be the button plackets, as well as the front facings and the back facing. My sister has a vintage Singer sewing machine with a knee press instead of a foot pedal. We got it oiled and threaded and gave it a try on some scrap fabric. To oil the machine. A drop of oil being applied at each of the following faces. The size of the needle bar, number nine. the needle and gave it another go. Oh yeah, that's much smoother. Much, much smoother confident in the machine, so I sewed the shoulder seams on the top of my combinations. Next, I sewed the side seams. I really enjoyed using this vintage Singer and I really want one for myself and I wish I had room for one. <laughs> My next step was top stitching the button plackets at center front. Since I used French seams on the side seams, I trimmed the seam allowance and folded right side to right side to enclose the raw edges on the inside. I 
I kept going forward with construction by top stitching the front facings and the back facing. So, of course, I am on a visit to my sisters, but I brought sewing with me. And I've been working on my combinations with using her vintage singer. And I've got my drawers <laughs> cut out. So, I'm going to get going on that. Probably not today, probably tomorrow. Probably gonna pin them, just pin them together today. I should probably read the instructions first, but I'm gonna do that. That is my next step in the combinations. But first, I needed to bind the armholes of the top of the combinations. I considered bias tape, but chose lace because I liked the look better. Now to the drawers. I sewed the leg seams. Next, I attached the facing to the open crotch seams. I folded the facings to the inside and sewed it down, enclosing the raw edges. Confession time, I forgot to bring my facing pattern piece, so I drew one and I think it's wider than the facing should have been. Ruffle time! I gathered, pinned, and sewed the ruffle to the legs of the drawers. I used cotton eyelet for the ruffle. Next, I pinned the waistband to the drawers. The top will also be pinned to the waistband to create the combinations. And then my vacation was over and it was time to go home. So I am back from vacation and I think the last thing I did while I was up there was I put the waistband on the drawers and I just did that by hand because I was hanging out with my family and watching movies and stuff and then I realized that I had completely messed up the legs of this. I attached front to front and back to back instead of front to back and on both sides for the open crotch seam. So I unpicked that and as I was unpicking that, Lucius is making noise. Get down. And as I was unpicking that, I noticed that I had on the ruffles on the bottom, I noticed that I had put them on, well, I had caught some of the drawers material kind of underneath so it was bunched up in some places. So on the car ride home, I just unpicked it. I had some 
some little sharp thread snips. So I was just very careful and just unpicked both of the ruffles from both of the legs. So now I'm home and I will reattach the seams, the crotch seams, or I'm calling them that, but the crotch is open. But anyway, where the front and back legs meet in the middle. I will reattach those and then I will re-pin the ruffle and sew that on and then um, go from there. After that it is I will do the attach the top to the drawers with the waistband and then there's a second waistband that goes on the inside covering the raw edges. So I repinned the ruffles to both legs and sewed them on. As I was trimming the seam allowance with pinking shears, oops, ugh, I repaired the little hole I cut. It's on the inner leg, so not terribly worried about it. Then I pinned the top to the waistband. To fit the front onto the waistband, I pleated the excess. You could gather it also, I believe the instruction said to gather it. My next step was pinning the inside waistband over the raw edges of the outer waistband and sewing it with a whip stitch. Hercules helped. Finally, I added a couple of hooks and bars to close the waistband. Then it was finished. I took some photos in the 90% humidity and there are definitely things I will change. Maybe. The waistband is a tad too small. I realized as I put it on that I mistakenly used my corseted waist measurement. I also think the waistband is too wide so I may go back and fix that but it does go under the corset so I may not. Also the shoulder seams need to be taken up. That's the thing I think I will fix. Mosquitoes. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you spending your time with me. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like, subscribe if you haven't, and if you'd like to be notified whenever I upload, you can hit that little bell icon. If you'd like to support the channel further, I have a coffee account and that is linked down below. Stay tuned next week for a special little video. My sister and I, while we were together, we decided to film a special video together and we made Anne of Green Gables Raspberry Cordial. So stay tuned for that and I will see you again on our next sewing adventure. Bye!